Hi everyone, this is Raja Shekhar. If you are new to Unreal and if you are facing any challenges in linking the Champs' program to Unreal's DMX lighting system, then this could be the video for you. So let's get started. Let's begin by uh, creating a new project and uh, I'm going to choose film, television and live events on next. So we are going to choose DMX and hit next. And, uh, Give your uh, file name. I'm gonna give DMX test. It's already there, so test one. Let's wait for the program to load. The project is up. By default, it opens the uh, default template. Let's create a new level, and we'll choose a default uh, space. The new level is here. Let's begin by creating a new DMX library, adding lights and uh, configuring every other attributes associated to it. And before even that, let's go to edit, to plugins, search for DMX and make sure all the DMX engines and protocols are enabled here. Restart the engine. And if you already have a check mark, ignore this part. Let's begin by creating a new DMX library but going to content browser. Content, right click here. DMX DMX library let's give a name DMX new and let's open the library and we are going to begin by adding a new controller DMX controller Arcnet broadcast 11 and this should be 0 this corresponds to the uh, universe first universe number and 0 is 1 and first is considered as the second position of the universe you will get a hang of this uh, later and ignore this um, exclamation mark which is over here just a warning let's go to fixture types and uh, before we even place a physical light on the set we'll have to first decide how much lights we're going to have on the screen and configure the functions for it so in this case i'm going to use a sharpie light and the template which i'm going to use is called uh, clay packy i happen to uh, get this uh, from a tutorial and um, I'll walk you through the process. And after adding the light, we'll have to exactly configure the functions as uh, shown on the screen because this function has to match with the uh, clay packy uh, template on the chances program. That's when this will work. So let's begin by adding the picture. We'll call this uh, Sharpie 1. Like no, no, this. This should be a moving head. Let's add a mode, will it be mode or uh, let's uh, give the name as uh, standard and uh, let's begin by adding the functions. The first function is color. Color followed by shutter mode. Let's name the functions here as well. Okay, the functions are in place. Let's do one more uh, copy since we are going to have two lights. Copy and paste. So Sharpie 1 and 2 both are having the same functions. Let's proceed to patching. Let's add a fixture and uh, Sharpie 1 followed by add picture again sharpie 2 so these two uh, lights are now patched to the following addresses so sharpie 1 patch is from 1 to 14 sharpie 2 is from 15 to 28 so let's save this and let's close let's uh, physically create a light and let's uh, move this at the uh, bit there. And, uh, let's create a light go to dmx fixtures light pictures and my recommendation do not try to modify the actual light uh, based on the tutorials which I've been seeing all the experts out there are advising to create a child of any light which you're going to use and then um, use that in the scene in the event if you happen to modify anything accidentally on the main file this would 
be reference for every other life which you create. So to create a child, you need to click on uh, the element, right click, create child blueprint. And uh, I'm going to put this inside. So here's our first slide. And I'm going to duplicate this one more time, the second one. Let's move these lights to the far Now, at this point of time, when you play the lights, nothing will happen because they're not linked yet. So we'll have to link it to the corresponding patch, uh, corresponding DMX library, and the patch. So do that, click on one of the light. Go to details, BMX new, the library, and the picture to be sharpie one. And for the second one, click on it, BMX library, and sharpie to match. So this option in details tab all the way down. The lights are linked to corresponding patch, and at this point of time, we still have some more work to do for the lights to show up. So do that. Let's uh, fire up the uh, champs program. Let's create a simple generic console. Pull, go to patch. And before you even do anything, click on update. I mean, click on um, patch and then click choose head. In uh, choose head, make sure to click on update heads to update all the uh, lights to the latest version. I'm going to search for clay packy and in clay packy let's go all the way down and choose sharpie standard and the moment you choose standard click on patch it we are going to use two heads that's just two uh, lights so choose two and press enter so if you notice on the screen right now the two uh, clay packy lights are patched and click on layout and here's your dimmer this gets added by default and here's a sharpie light which you which we added right now and if you notice it has a number two which is two numbers and one more time click on view heads and if you notice the sharpie one is patched to the 49th address and sharpie two is on 65 so we'll have to go back to unreal and uh, go to our let open the dmx library which we created and on fixture patch We'll have to rearrange these patch uh, patches for the light to get linked and work. So the first one was on 45, and the second one was on uh, 65, I suppose. Let me cross check that one more time. Yes, for, I'm sorry, 49 and 65. So let's put it to 49, and this is 65. That looks good. So this is very important. If you miss this part, and if if your lights are patched to this uh, number. And if you try to play, nothing will happen. So make sure to place this on corresponding patch numbers. And also the order of the function should be same. These two are, are the two crucial things which you need to watch out. And the third one is make sure the DMX controller is set to zero. Okay. So this is done. Let's save, close off. Okay, the lights. Okay, the lights are now linked to chances. Let's try to test it out. Do that. Click on Sharpie. And uh, to even get here, make sure you're clicking on layout, click on sharpie, and then click full. For some reason, the lights are pointing down the moment they got linked. And at this point of time, even I don't have the answer for this since I'm new to uh, DMX and this champs program. So I'll try to uh, give you the answer in the comments in the future once you happen to have it. Now let's try to add some effects and try to explore the every other aspects of it. To do it, go to layout, select sharpie. Add FX. We can add any of these FX here. I'm going to choose positions, diamond, and uh, here's your FX. And uh, I played with color, that's why I'm having a different color. Setting it to white, and uh, let's to red, amber, yellow. And this is how you change color. So that's about um, linking. The chances and the lights are in place everything is happening 
So furthermore, you can explore chances and program the lights and uh, do create your own uh, system of lights and try to play with it. This was a basic video. Hope this was helpful and uh, do let me know if you happen to have any doubts in creating this. Okay, see you all soon sometimes in another tutorial of Unreal Engine. Thank you.